Hello, uh, my friends. I'm gonna show you today how to make the Brontosaurus. Um, as I mentioned before, previously we have uh, modeled the Triceratops. We have modeled a few other pieces. We have the Mamenchisaurus, which is similar to the Brontosaurus, but the tail is longer and they have a more rounded back. Um, we have uh, in a process of finishing the Stegosaurus. And um, well, today we're gonna make the Brontosaurus armature. So you guys could very easily trace with clay and make your piece and the, the, the good thing of using an armature is that it holds the shape, so it doesn't matter if your house is hot or cold, so it always holds the shape, so you can always come back and put more detail as you, as you have time, okay? So as always, we are going to use our thin aluminum wire, which you can buy in any crafts, craft store. This is, the, this is the thin one, the 0.055 which comes in 32 feet. 32 feet uh, lets you do maybe maybe eight, eight sculptors about the size I, I have right here, okay? So let's don't bore you more, let's start. So we are, like always, we work with units, so, so you could scale your work. In this case, I'm using one unit as one inch, but you could use a thicker wire and do one unit as as two inch or more as you decide right this is uh, one inch so we're going to start by by um making uh, five units which is five inches this is going to be the head and the neck okay this is going to be the head and the neck and then uh, as always we we make a vent of of half a unit for the shoulder plates, right? This is the shoulder plates. Then we are going to work making the legs. So the legs is going to be, uh, the top part of the leg is going to be one unit, one inch. And the bottom part of the leg is also going to be one unit, okay? This one has, doesn't have to be too precise because you could always adjust it when you put clay if they are uneven for a couple, couple uh, millimeters. So then we are going to make the leg. The Brontosaurus has legs like um, elephants, so you don't have to make the feet too pointy. You just have to round the wire. And it's good if you have always a plier, right? A plier lets you, lets you adjust the, the, the metal, the, the wire uh, to point the direction you want, right? So, so once we have the the foot or paw, we are going to wrap the wire slowly all the way to the middle, which is the end of the neck or the beginning of the neck, I guess, right? So, always bend it like you can see the 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 this will be like the shoulder you always need to be sure you bend it so you have a guide okay where does the where does the clay will be added on so then again we we use half a unit to make um, the other shoulder plate we use one unit for the other shoulder and we do another unit for the bottom part of the leg and we round it to make the foot once we have the foot we just slowly wrap the wire up very tight the, this is just for the, the clay to have a to have a, a spot to, to be held to be, just to bite the, the, the clay and stay on place, okay? So once you can get to the center, we are going to leave, let's see, 
they have the back so this is the leg so let me see what will be two units, two unit will be good uh, for for this dinosaur i think i'm gonna leave two units and at two units uh, let me see this dinosaur has a a long um, bag so i have to be sure i have room kind of to make the bag seems seems right seems about right um seems about right uh, i always could fix it with a clay uh, you know i'm gonna do two units and a half because the home goes pretty high up i'm gonna do two units and a half which will be two two inches and a half so now i just bend it half a unit and remember this uh, after you do a couple of these you could do any animal you you see uh, any dinosaur any animal so that's the goal that you learn how to do any animal you like okay so then we are going to leave one inch and a half for the top back leg because they are uh, bigger and stronger and then one unit for the bottom of the leg and we are going to wrap it and make the the foot okay once we are here then we have to wrap the wire so if this is on the way just move it so we use the one two one two one two this uh, figure takes about four feet so you could either cut four feet of wire before you start or you can just have it like I have it just right, right here. I I I unf un un roll it, unfold it as as I'm using it, so I don't have to end with little pieces of wire. But they are always useful. So save all the pieces because they are always useful to add horns and things like this. Okay, some details. So don't throw any pieces of wire you end up to. And now the tail. The tail is actually longer than the head. So I'm gonna leave six units, right? Six units. I leave five units for the for the neck, but this the tail is longer, so I'm gonna leave six units. Six units. I always do um, more than one armature. So this is the first brontosaurus I made, and once I model it, if I need to, I could always adjust my units and add more tail or more neck okay and this the tail have to really tight so always make it really really tight because you want the the clay cover the wire you don't want this the wire sticking on a side or something like this right so once we get to the hip we are going to do the same as we did before we are going to leave half an inch half unit you see, I, I think so many times that I cannot eyeball it because this is the opposite side, so I don't have to use the ruler all the time. I could just look at the other side and try to bend it accordingly. But if I'm not sure, I grab the ruler. Actually, it was getting a little too long. And bend it, right? So one inch and a half, one unit over here. And I make the other foot okay so as you see this is how it's getting the shape of the of the brontosaurus so i'm gonna roll it don't be afraid to move the wire if it's on your way you you always adjust it later so move 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 that's the good thing about aluminum wire it's very easy to to fold and it holds the shape shape very good very very good okay you see uh -huh. wrapping the wire to make the body and once I get here I'm gonna wrap it to make the neck strong if you don't double it the neck gets too heavy and tends to fall down and once you get here about half a unit, you could always do a little loop 
which is going to be the head. Right? This is going to be the head. The same, you don't want it too big. It's just a guide. So after that, just fold it a couple times. Cut the wire. And right, that's it. Now we have a Brontosaurus armature, sculpting armature, okay? This uh, need to be adjusted, so you see it got all cricket, so I, I adjust the hips to, uh, to the units. I designed the piece, now I start getting shape. Look at your picture of your Brontosaur. Remember, always make your piece move, so usually when a piece is moved, it has, has one foot forward, the other foot forward, this is one side, and then it has one foot backwards, and the other foot backwards, the other leg backwards, this keep movement to the piece. Wow, this piece is so long, it barely fit in, in my set. And, and the other thing is they have a, remember the brontosaurus had the rounded back so made a rounded back and readjusted if needed and this is gonna be the head okay you see how fast um, how fast we did it very very fast right very very fast okay so this is how we do the armature i'm gonna post another video on how we model the brontosaurus okay i don't put it all in once because then it gets too long and if you don't want to see how to do a part then it gets a little bit annoying so uh, let's, let me just adjust that a little more then this I go a little more okay so i'm gonna stop here while i'm going to get my clay i put it on a warm room so it's more easy to to bend okay so don't forget, look at the next video, how to model the Brontosaur.